Welcome to Issues in Japan. I would like to share the article contents of Jose Jishin posted on January 27. The title is Is Princess Kako declaring that she also will live for love? Why she continues to praise Mako even after marriage. Kako's poetry at the New Year's poetry ceremony showed the strength of her unchanging bond with her sister, Mako. That's what a source at the Imperial Household Agency said. The Imperial Household Agency explained the content of her poetry as follows. One day in autumn, when Her Imperial Highness Princess Kako opened the window of her room, the fragrance of the fragrant olive drifted in on the breeze. This poetry was written about her joy at being exposed to the sweet fragrance. The poetry is about the nature of the Akasaka Imperial Palace, where she lives. But many people concerned about the poetry do not accept it as explained by the Imperial Household Agency. The source at the Imperial Household Agency continued to say as follows This is because the New Year's poetry ceremony is a precious opportunity for the royal family, who rarely have a chance to express their feelings. In terms of the message conveyed in the poetry, what is fresh in our minds is Mako's poetry that was presented in March 2021. The Japanese snake gourd, which Mako wrote about in March 2021, has the language of flowers meaning the good news. The poetry referred to the Japanese snake gourd being dyed with the colors of autumn. In other words, it was whispered that the poetry might be a wish for good news to come in autumn. It was six months later, on October 1, that the marriage of Mako and Kei Kimuro was officially announced. It was exactly what the poetry had said, and it became a reality. Of course, Kako must have been very aware of the fact that Mako's poetry, having the language of the, the Japanese snake gourd, Attracted a lot of attention at the time. Also, the blooming time of the fragrant olive in Kako's poetry is from mid September to late October. This is the same time that her sister Mako finally got married. By the way, the language of the fragrant olive is humble, noble, first love, truth, and euphoria. It is said that the poetry is in praise of Mako. Who fulfilled her first love, or true love, with Kei Kimuro, despite the opposition of her family and the criticism of the public? A source of the Imperial Household Agency said as follows Kako's poetry could be taken as a message that, I will live for love, like my sister. Their Majesties the Emperor and Empress and Prince and Princess Akishino also seem to be concerned about her attitude as such. I have heard that for some time now. Princess Kako has been expressing her feelings to those close to her, saying that marriage is the only way for her to leave the imperial family. In her poetry about the fragrant olive, there is a phrase, the sweet fragrance of the, the fragrant olive makes my heart flutter. I think that she may have been thinking about her own future marriage. However, If Princess Kako were to marry a man like Mako, whom others around her are opposed to, the imperial family would once again be in turmoil. I think their majesties are also concerned about such a situation. This is what the source of the imperial household agency said. The day may not be far off when Kako, who strongly desires to live in love, will experience a heartbreaking reality. That's all for now. Thank you for watching.